together Together fuck up nothing Somewhere That is part I would You get some more juice with the bust my head at the same one anymore That is why I did pray for your love for oh, baby yeah. Quem que é só? Ultra mata. That's like you in the lottery. The boy is a big boy. Follow me, my girl. We got your money. No say good you cry now. If you give me love for my baby, we could go. That is what I want in my baby. God, baby, know that you wanna fuck guy. For your Bacati, oh, 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 She got that, she got that fuck up, no, me. Something more, me more. That's why I did pray for your love, oh, baby. Hey. Yeah. I did pray for your love, oh, baby. Can't catch up, ultra mata. Yeah. They the fight us, baby, burn them. They don't want us, but you know what I'm saying. they pray, make you come my way. You go fly away. Baby, no mind them, cause they don't want us to get away. No send them, we go scat that in a way. Baby, mellow, mellow. You're my only talk Baby, hello, hello. You're my only talk She get down. She get down. Fuck up, no, me. Somewhere. That is part I will. You get some more juice with the bust in my head at the same Yeah. That is why. We're home. Guys, we're just here. Oh, I need your bag. <laughs> <laughs> My baby! <laughs> Mommy! How are you, love? I'm fine. Look at, <laughs> Look at her! Oh my god! Turn around, turn around! <laughs> <laughs> I missed you. I missed you. Missed you, baby. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, my mind all this well. <laughs> so tell me! <laughs> How is life over there in the north? Mom, it was fine, but I missed our delicious meals. Mm. Talking about meal, I just prepared your favorite, actually. Mm. <laughs> you, you see what uh, serving this country has done to my sweet daughter. Uh, just look at, see how she looks. Look at her. Just leave that to me. In a couple of days, she's going to come back to herself. Oh, Mom, please. <laughs> I like myself the way I am. I don't want to grow fat with your food. You know I can't resist it. Talking about my food. Lucy! Lucy, come prepare the table! Objection, Mom. Shower first. Okay. It's so good. Look at my baby. I you. Look at my baby. Oh, madam. Welcome home. See her, see my baby. I just thank God for guiding our daughter. All through her years in the university and as a corporal. Honestly, I can't express my feelings how I feel. I really thank God. Do you have me pass the water? Yes, yeah, sure. Very good, Mom. So, this is what I have been missing. <laughs> I know. That's why I prepared this for you. Mm -hmm. Eat and enjoy yourself, my dear. You're no longer a copper. Mm. This is your father's house. Yeah. <laughs> I know, Daddy. But please, you both shouldn't claim with food. Mm. Mom? Yes, dear. This is delicious. I've missed your cooking. Oh my god. I know. <laughs>
どうぞ。ヘイヤーゴッツギリーかわいい !Yes, it's me! Wow! Oh my god! How have you been? I'm cool! I think I'm best in my eyes! Take my eyes on the same thing! No, it's not! It's me, darling! I'm back! Wow! Come on, let's go get to bed! So, how have you been? Oh, I can't still believe that this is Juliet, my one and only. <laughs> yes, it's me. I'm done with my youth service, so I'm back home. And you didn't even tell me that you're coming within the week. <sighs> Babe, that's because I wanted to surprise you. Surprise! When did you come back? Two days ago. Two whole days? And you're just coming to pay me surprise with it now? It's too much now. You would have known that I miss you so much. Of course I know that, babe, and I miss you too. You know what? Those days of missing me are all over. I'm back now. Wow. <laughs> love to hear that. I'm happy to hear that. Okay. <laughs> Let me make you come first. Mm. Okay. Like I always do. Like my refrigerator is fully loaded with children. Mm. So, what brand are you offering? Come on, babe, you know my favorite. Yeah, I know. But I thought as you change the environment, you would have changed to brand too. No, <laughs> hell no. Same old, same old. Go get me my oh, Come on. Give me a few seconds of okay. Meanwhile, I can enjoy the movie. I will. Go fast about that because I've okay. missed you. <laughs> Glass of water. Okay, no, 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 no. I'm full. I've been having fun. I'm full. Okay, then. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. You see, uh, as you can see, I'm just returning from the place where Chiblamba and I went to enjoy ourselves. Uh, yes. Tell me about it. You see, when I got to the office, I, I told you, I said, Chief, you know something? My daughter is back home after her youth service. You know, so he just said, Boy, let's go and have fun. You know, we started to forget the office for the day. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, Chief, that man is such a nice man. Hello, sorry. To call Chief a nice man or a good man is an understatement. He's been a blessing to this house. That's true. It's, I, sometimes I just wonder what would have happened to me if I had continued riding that stupid, nasty bicycle for business that I couldn't even take care of my family. No, 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 no. God actually used Chief to bless yes, this home. Yes, yes, yes. God used him to turn our life around for good. God bless him. And you went out enjoying yourself. Celebrating. Without it's me. been a celebration galore. <laughs> <laughs> you don't worry. You'll, you'll be part of it. You don't worry. All the hopes and dreams I could have prayed for. Here you are. This chicken is good. Have one dance forever. I'll take you back. Julie, baby. I'm actually glad you're here, finally. Franco. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Finally, here she is. Yeah. At least you will stop bugging my ass. I mean, you stop disturbing me over you missing Juliet and all that. I'll say that again, bro. Mm. So you can, <laughs> can devote her for me. For all I can. Oh, yeah. So, spill. That's true. Oh, yes. It seemed like. You don't know what I have been passing through for this whole one year. Mm. Twelve months. You I do imagine. 
cold <laughs> everywhere, loneliness here and there. <laughs> <laughs> so why didn't you get yourself a substitute since I wasn't around? So you could stop getting cold. Hey, no. Yeah, well, Nothing can substitute you for me. Hmm. You know that. Okay, so what if I hadn't come back? What would you have done? I would have gone ahead and end this life. <sighs> but I was uh... very sure that you're going to come back to me. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Good to know. <laughs> yeah. Now, Julie, it seems you don't understand how Frank has mixed you all this way away. Julietting up and down, Juliet here, Juliet there. It wasn't easy. Mm, you let me all over. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so funny. Anyways, I am back now and I'm spending the rest of my life with my Frank forever and ever. Wow, mm. that's a good one. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. What's good? Yeah, See this whole week. I'm not going to sing in the office. I'm going to build my engine here. Mm. So, Please, you can't say everything. Come on, bro. You can count on me. I'll cover you up, okay? The Frankie. Frank is in love. Frank is in love. Can't so, cheers again. to yeah, yeah. no modulating around. Can yeah, you? yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, Chief Linus. Yes. I'm sure you have not forgotten our agreement. Chief Lambert, we've had so many agreements since you got me in. So, which one are you? Which one are you talking about? Uh, of course, we had um, quite a number of agreements, but uh, I'm talking about the most important one concerning your daughter, Juliet. Oh, that, <laughs> of course, I have not forgotten that. You know, when he said he would get her employed uh, after her service, after her service, yes. Mm, <laughs> uh, and um, also get her hand in marriage thereafter. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe you should have just gone straight to the point instead of just, you know, going round and round. Ah, <laughs> uh, it is easier said than done these days. No, Chief. You see, we, we don't do that to my family. Besides, I mean, not to someone like you. Thank you. So you are reassuring me that um, our agreement is as firm as the day we made it? Chief Lambert, assurance intact. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I like your person. And, um, okay, yes, um, don't forget, um, 30 container loads will be coming in. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You see, I have paid out 30 million naira from my account to ensure speedy work on the warehouse. Are you kidding me? Trust me. Huh? So, uh, what's your plan? Are you trying to take the highest uh, percentage this time? <laughs> Oh, you should know now. You should now. <laughs> That's how it should be. <laughs> My mom. Hey, how are you? I'm fine, man. Mom, this is Frank. We met at the university, and he's my fiance. Okay. Please sit down. Thank you. Um, let's get him something to drink. Oh, I'm okay, ma. I'm okay. Sure? Yeah. Frank, this is my mom. Her love and prayer has kept me this beautiful. So, say thanks to her. <laughs> it's a pleasure meeting you, ma. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. Thank you. I've heard so much about you from your daughter. I hope all you've been hearing is something nice. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, ma. Mom, apart from you and dad, Frank is another person I missed so much while I was away. <laughs> ma, I have waited so much for your daughter to come back from service. We have known each other for a very long time. So I decided to at least Come and say hello to the womb that brought for this angel. Wow, <laughs> that sounds so sweet. You're welcome once again. Thank you, ma'am. Mm. So tell me, where are you from? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you, ma. Okay, then. Right. I'll see you people some other time. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Take care, darling. Right. You too. And drive safe. Thank you. Bye. 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 He's not doing badly, you know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Yes, really. I want you to talk to our daughter. Is there a problem? Not exactly a problem. So what do you want me to talk to her about? You see, um, Chief and I had an agreement while our daughter was still in the university. And the agreement says that as soon as our daughter concludes her youth service, she will be employed by... Wow, her. that's nice. Oh, God. Chief, that man is such a nice person. Honestly, our daughter will be so happy to hear this. Relax now. Take it easy. The good news is yet to come. Okay, okay. The agreement also says that Chief will also marry our daughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who did you say you had this agreement with? Chief Lambert, of course. <laughs> what? I'm sure both of you have lost your senses. You mean both of you discuss this and you have the courage to come and discuss this with me? I don't know why you're taking it this way. I mean, a man has promised to I don't help. care whatever he has promised. I don't care! You want our only daughter to get married to a man old enough to be her father. A man who has lost two of his wives and his only son. Did you just say that? Excuse me. Don't forget that you don't have the power to challenge my decisions in this house. As her mother, I'm also telling you, you have no right, you have no power to challenge my decision and my choice in the affairs of my only daughter. You don't have the right. <laughs> what? Uh, anyway, there is no point bandying words with you. No point at all. I am instructing you to go and tell our daughter to get ready to marry Chief Lambert. And my decision is final. Chief. Yes. Okay, you want me to come over? Oh, all right. I I'll be with you in a moment. Uh, man old enough to be a friend. Uh, thank you. I, I think I've waited enough. Waited enough? For what? Getting married, of course. Hmm. I have to make him move. And now, you see, I have spent five good years waiting. And now, my angel is back from service. I think the next thing is just to go ahead and make it official. Yeah. Frank, my man. Um, <clears throat> Frank, you see, um, I know it hasn't been easy for this world. Um, but I think it's a good idea. Your parents and hers will be very happy to hear this good news. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you. Just have to start planning it, you know, it's a gradual process. Yeah, um, true, it's a gradual process, but besides, I don't think money is going to be the problem, because the money is there to be spent. Yes, of course. If it's about money, I'm equal to the tax. You know, 
on each of this nature. Uh, cash is going to suffer to make my angel happy to, and make her feel me as well. That's the man. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> she already needs to feel you. I feel that. So, uh, when are you planning to make this move? As soon as possible. Uh, okay, we'll get it done. I think to grow with that. So, um, Chief Linus, how did it go? Did you discuss this marriage thing with your daughter? Uh, of course I did. Mm. Yeah, but you should trust me on issues like this. <laughs> <laughs> and what was her response? I mean, Chief, I am her father. Mm. And you should know what that means to her. Yeah. Whatever I say, it stands. Mm. So, you mean she didn't react negatively? Uh, because I know children of these days. Relax your mind and enjoy yourself. You know. uh, uh, that reminds me. Yes. They sent in two extra containers last night. I don't know if you're aware. Uh, yes, I'm very much aware. You know, they sent it as um, compensation for our loyalty to their company. Wow. <laughs> you see? That's why it's always good to be loyal. <laughs> Just like what we're discussing now. This is good. Yeah. <laughs> loyal, well, loyalty yes, must, loyalty yes, must yes. be unrepresented. Yes. It cannot uh, be short, you understand? I, I don't know what you're saying. What about your daughter? What about your daughter? I don't want to do that. <laughs> deep, 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 deep. Yeah. Oh. Welcome, Chief. Okay, thanks, John. Have you discussed with my daughter? I didn't discuss anything with her. You mean? I gave you an instruction and you flouted it. She's your daughter as well. You can do the talking. But why are you being complacent about this whole thing? Huh? But well, since you've refused, I'll do it myself. You see, I wanted her to believe that uh, this is a decision taken by both of us, you know, so that it wouldn't look somehow. Now, look at how you... Look, this attitude will get you nowhere. Let me just give you a word of advice. The Juliet I know will not agree. And even if she does, I will never agree to that. Oh, she's here. <laughs> Juliet, your father wants to talk to you. Sit down. <laughs> You can now do the talking. Dad, hope I'm not interrupting anything. No, sweetie. You're not at all. My sweet girl. You're not at all. You know your mother. Anyway, but has she told you anything? Concerning what? No. I see. Okay. I'll tell you myself. There is something very important, very, very important I want to discuss with you. Okay. You know, Daddy loves you, right? Yeah, I do. Good. And Daddy would do anything for you. Of course, Dad, I know that. Good. Yeah, good. Uh, in all my efforts to make you happy. I have found a man for you. I mean, a suitor. <laughs> a suitor for yeah. me? Yes. <laughs> you, you know, you know, my friend, you know, Jeff Lambert, you know, my partner. Yes. You see, uh, he has promised to give you a job. And, I mean, he has promised to give you a job and uh, he's also interested in marrying you. 
But are you being serious? Very serious. Like you're serious? Very serious. Very, very, very serious. Dad, if truly you're serious about what you just said to me now, it's not possible. Never. What? I can't marry that old man. No. You're telling me this. Uh, uh, listen, um, uh, Chip Brown, I'm sure you remember the total amount due to me now. Yes, you are to give me two billion dollars. Yes, that is what I am expecting. Oh, you send it in the next few days? That's good. I'm happy to do business with you. Okay, all right, I will be expecting. Thank you, bye-bye. <laughs> so sorry, my dear. Oh, that's um, a business partner uh, in the United States of America. <laughs> they are owing me $2 billion. So I will be $2 billion richer in the next few days. <laughs> yes, I'm sure your. I don't know. Did your father tell you how happy I was when. Um, I heard that you are now a certified graduate. Yes, he did. Ah, he, he did. I was so happy. <laughs> so, so happy. And in fact, I have decided to offer you employment immediately. Because I don't want you to start carrying five from one office to the other. That's very nice of you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. No, no, consider it done. Consider it done. And um, while assuring you of that employment, I also have something of benefit that I really want to tell you. And what could that be? Juliet, can you be my wife? <laughs> what? I knew it. I knew there was something my dad was up to when he asked me to come here to see you. I knew it. And look, let me tell you, if you don't even think or dream of marrying because it will never ever happen. And if this is the reason you, you called me here to offer me a job because of this rubbish you just said, keep it. I am not interested. I don't need such. To hell with you and your job. I don't need it. You call me a dreamer? So I am now a dreamer. You mean your father opened his mouth to tell you something? It did not just end there. My father arranged for me and that old fool to meet. And to my greatest surprise, that old thing opened his mouth to tell me that. This is serious. This is really serious. But I swear with everything I'm made up with, such thing will never happen. Not when I'm still alive. Honestly, I don't know what has come over my father. I, I don't understand it. But wait, what was your response to that offer? Of course I told my father that will never happen. Never. <laughs> never. And he still went ahead to arrange for you to meet that old fool that called himself Chief Lambert. I don't, I don't know why he's doing this. Be serious. So please, please, try and understand what I'm talking about. Chief, there's nothing there to understand. In you telling your daughter to get married to that man, a man who has buried his two wives and his only son, Honestly, I strongly believe there's something wrong in that man's life. Let's leave all that. Let's not go into all that. Let's look at it this way. This man has been a blessing to all of us here. He has helped our lives, you know, many times. Let's show him appreciation, please. I know. I know God has used this man to bless us. 
And I truly appreciate him for that. No, it's not enough to just show verbal appreciation. Let's do something concrete, you know, something tangible, solid, you know, by offering him a daughter as a wife. Listen, I know that if you talk to Juliet, our daughter, she listens with you. She'll understand. She does. I understand what you're trying to say. But me, giving out my one and only daughter to that old man just to show him appreciation. No, it won't work. No, that won't work. I'm sorry. Should I? You know something? I fear that if it continues like this, something bad, something very strange may happen. Uh, that man, that man, if this is the only thing we have to do for him, well, let's do it. Please, let's do it. Chief, it's better something strange happen than me giving my only daughter to that old man. I'm sorry. No, I don't see that happen. No, 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 no. It's not possible. That old man. Like I was saying, that is the only thing that has been worrying me, disturbing me all this while. Don't you think it's your fault, Frank? No. Why would you blame me for her father asking her to marry his friend? Uh, maybe the old man is doing it for their friendship or for Sarah. Listen, Frank. It is your fault. Why? Since you told me your intentions to marry her, I have not heard anything about that. Mm, you are right, that is true. But I have been making arrangements for that. I wanted it in a way that I will do everything at once. Come on, Frank. No! This is not how it's supposed to be. You should have gone to her parents. Make your intentions known to them. Before putting up or arranging anything further. <laughs> Yeah, you are right. I think that's true. I agree with you. There is sense in what you are so you saying. Say, uh, I, I think uh, I think you should. You should visit the parents and get this thing sorted out. So, tell me, how does it work? Over my dead body will I allow such a thing happen? Never. Oh, darling, you don't say such things about yourself. Well, well, if that's what you want. All I know is that <laughs> you're going to marry Chief Lambert whether you like it or not. Simple. That won't be possible. Instead of that to happen, we will leave this house for you. Oh, you're the demon behind her stubbornness. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I am the head of this house. But Dad, you can't force me to marry an old man because you're my father or the head of the house. Don't mind him. He want to give you out to that old fool, all in the name of appreciation. Ah, I see. So you are together in this conspiracy. You are camped up against me. No problem. We shall see. I will let you know that I am the head of this family. You being the head of this family doesn't mean that whatever you say, we will obey.
is not a matter of will. It is not a request. This is an order. And all my instructions must be obeyed. Simple. As you can see, we're dancing, you know. I told my daughter to teach us this dance step, you know, they call Shaku Shaku Chaku Chaku. Anyway, so how may I help you? Sir, I'm Franklin by name. With me here is my very good friend, John Bosco by name. We came to see you. Your wife, sir. Oh, interesting. You're here to see me and my wife. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Actually, I'm the person in particular that I want to see you. My friend here just accompanied me. Oh, uh, yes, we are listening. <laughs> we are listening. <laughs> sir, your daughter and I have known each other for long. We met in university. I was about graduating when she got admitted into this school. Ah, really? <laughs> okay, okay, good. Since then, we have loved each other so much. And I deem it important that I should come and let you know my interest and my intention of making her my wife. Sir. Fresh boys. Yeah. See the kind of boys where my small madame they coordinate. You're the demon behind this hell with nonsense. Nonsense? Yes, nonsense! Oh, nonsense! <sighs> if not because you're visitors, and for the fact that today's Sunday, I would have taught both of you terrible lesson, lessons of your lives, your miserable lives. Begin to go. Begin Dad, to leave. Dad, you can't talk to my fiancé like that. You shut up. One more word from you. You regret having me as your father. How do you expect her to keep quiet when you're insulting her fiancé right in her presence? Woman, you have given me enough headache. Your opinion no longer counts in this house. No, sis. Are you still there? I said leave. I'm sorry, sir, for provoking you. Dad, you, you can't just let them go like One this. step towards that door, you cease to be my daughter. I don't like this. Chief, I don't like what you're doing. I don't like it. This is not right. Who cares whether I like it or not? This is my house. Nonsense. <laughs> Lambert. 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 The great murder of the seven rivers and ocean. I humble myself before you. Your humility is not needed here. I am so disappointed in you, Lambert. And I have come to warn you. You are appealing to your life. How do you mean, the great one? <laughs> you have refused to make a sacrifice to the source of your wealth. For long, For long I have come to tell you that, that your deeds are too short. short. If, if something, something is not done, done fast. Uh, uh, the great one, <laughs> I am already planning about that. <laughs> the first, the first whatever, whatever you are planning. Because, because the hand that fed you is the hungry. hungry. And, and if you don't have what it, what you eat. eat. It will eat you. It will you, you, Lambert. Be, be warned. <laughs> what do I do? Ah. So what do I do now? What do I do in this situation? I have just two months to make another human sacrifice to the mother of the seven rivers and oceans. 
and it cannot exceed that. Chief Lino's daughter is proving too stubborn, and I can't just offer anybody that isn't very dear to the goddess because she will not accept it. I have to have to put pressure on him so he can do anything to make her daughter marry. And rest because mother of the seven rivers and oceans is an aggressive goddess who kills at will, and I can't afford to lose my life like this. No, 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 no. I don't think I can give you more time. I have given you enough time, and you continue to fail. For example, what did you do when I reported your daughter to you? That she came right here in my own office and insulted me. What did you do? Uh, uh, Chief. I remember I apologized to you. You see, I don't even know why my wife and my daughter are against me on this matter. But not to worry. You must marry my daughter. You must. It's a promise. Mm -hmm. It's a promise. It's a promise. Uh, 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 this is not a time for empty promises. But when the promise will come to pass. Very soon, Chief. Very soon. Just to give me a little time. A very little time. Two weeks. Just two weeks. And after, <laughs> I will block everything you have with this company. I will also go ahead and uh, block all the contacts I have made for you. If you know what that means. You will then go back to that your poor life again. Yes, that is when you will know that I am not happy with you. <sighs> Bear, I can't get this. How could your father come up with such an idea of you marrying an old man? I still can't explain it. And he keeps claiming it's because they are friends. Seriously speaking, your father really shocked me. This kind of thing doesn't exist anymore. It was in the past that parents do make choice of marriage for their children. Not in this era. Yeah, but even if he wants to make a choice for me, not an old man. A man that is as old as he is. I thought your father loved you. As you do tell me. I thought you have a caring father. A man that always wants the best for his only daughter. I thought so too. I can't imagine my father could do such a thing to me. Why would he take such a decision over my future? Wow. This thing is too much for me to hear. It's giving me concern. I don't really know. I don't know. Oh, come on, baby. It's okay. See. I know how you feel, okay? I'm worried too. But just take it easy, okay? It's really giving me concern. I know, take it easy. I know there's too much for me to be. It's fine, baby. Oh, you say so. Yeah, I say so. Even though I'm worried as you are. Why don't we allow our daughter to marry a man of her choice? And save yourself this stress. Imagine, since today you return, you've not eaten anything. Now you can't even sleep. From the look of things, you might develop high blood pressure. Hmm. You see. You won't understand, my dear. You just won't understand. You won't understand because you don't even know the consequences of not giving our daughter's hand in marriage to that man. Chief, there is nothing to understand. That man is too old for our daughter. Don't you get it? Yeah, you may be right, but there is a problem. Very big problem. Do you know that 
this house that we are living in, this very house, and some of the cars that we have, are owned by Chief's company. Uh, and now Chief has warned that if I do not do something fast concerning this marriage, he would dispossess me of everything the company has offered me. Forget it. He can't do anything. He can't do that. After all, you're rich now, Chief. You can purchase a house of your choice. <laughs> so that it's not as easy as you think. It's not at all. Look, Chief is so smart. Yeah. Even if he has allowed me uh, access to all these things, including his money. Look, he has done it in such a way that if I lose that job today, uh, we will return to a state of poverty. Abject poverty. He knows what he's doing. Uh, now let me tell you something I think you don't know. Do you know that Chief is the only man who handles everything about importation that the company does? Do you know? Do you also know that Chief has positioned himself in that company in such a way that he alone manages the finances of that company. Do you know? Uh, as a matter of fact, recently I was thinking about uh, starting my own business. I was actually relying on you to get it started for me. Now, this. The most frightening thing of everything is that when he was offering me this job, he said that if for any reason I get fired by his company, I will become poorer than I was. So that means I will lose everything, including all the fleet of cars that we have. God forbid it. That's impossible. This is the reason. I'm doing. Would you want us to return to that situation? God forbid it. Chief, I didn't know it has gotten to that extent. It has. It has. Oh, it has. Mom, I can't believe you're saying this to me. My dear, I never wanted this to happen. As it is now, this is beyond our control. If you don't marry that man, we will. Oh, mom, please save me that trash. Why the sudden change of mind? I thought you were on my side. Now you're taking sides with dad. I thought you wanted the best for me. My dear, I want the best for you. I want the best for you. Trust me. The way things are. Things are not the way I thought they were. I will advise you forget about Frank and marry Chief Lombard. Over my dead body. It will never happen. Look, I don't care what you've taken or eaten from that man. I don't care. But whatever it is that makes you think that you both can force me into marrying will not happen. Never. No. No one is trying to force you. Then what are you trying to do? What are you both trying to do? 
Dad married the woman of his dream. You married the man of your dream. You both are perfect for each other. So why can't I be with whom I've chosen to be with? Why can't I marry whom I want? Instead, you choose to sell me to an old man all in the name of marriage. No. I never believed that you and dad could be this heartless. I have every reason to believe that I have no caring parents. No. Yes. Don't say that. No one is trying to sell you. Hey, baby. Let's come right. Wow. Thank you. Luke. Luke. What are you doing in my house? Where is it? Keep your greeting to yourself. I just asked you. What are you doing in my house? I came... I came to see her, sir. Dad, he, he just came to see me. You, you don't have to talk to him like that. Shh. Is something wrong with you? Have you lost your senses? Ma, I thought you were false. If you know what is good for you, stay away from my daughter. Stay clear from her! I have shown you so much respect. It is clear, very clear, that you do not like it that way. So, wait for me. Sir, sir. Sir. You see that young man? Yes, sir. I don't want to see him here again. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, but, um, Oga, Oga, you know, say me, I know they like uh, hide the truth. You see that young man? He, they always come this house, come find um, small madam. Are you deaf? No, sir. I just said I do not want to see him here again. Sir, yes, sir. That's better. Now, if I see him here again, consider yourself sacked. Ah, Oga sacked? Oga, he never reached sacked. Now, get out. Thank you, sir! Thank you, sir! Mom, so you're seriously taking sides with Dad? Yes, I am. And if you know what is good for you, you better get yourself ready, because you're getting married to your father's friend. And there's nothing you both will do to force me into marrying an old man. Never! Oh, really? Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Well, let me tell you this. I don't ever want to see that stupid boy here again. Look, if I see both of you together again, oh goodness, you will not like what I'll do to you. Mark my word. You had your father. If you like, damn. You mean that man chased you out of his house? That is not even the problem. If I wasn't fast enough, I would have been in hospital by now. The man wanted to break my head just because he found me in his house. The six years. Um, but Frank, I don't think you should be risking your life by going to that man's house again. Had it been this man hit you and you died, what would have happened? Bosco, if not that you are my good friend, I would have asked you to leave my house Frank, immediately. I just made a suggestion. Then keep it to yourself because it's too bad for my hearing. How do you expect me to forget about someone that I've been waiting for? 
for so long. Do you know how many guests I rejected? Because of Juliet. See, Frank, I, I truly understand how you feel, okay? I understand. But, man, look at it. We are talking about your life. Had it been that this man broke your head and you fell and died over there, what would happen? And do you think that I will allow him? If that man dares me, I will show him my true color. Frank. Frank. Bosco, you had me. Do you think it's wise to fire a man over his daughter? Think. Whatever. See, Bosco, nothing can be done to make me change my mind over this girl. No matter what her parents do. See, forget that they are Python dance. I'm not giving into that threat. I must marry that girl. Frank. I must marry her. You heard me. Yes. Frank. Bosco. Frank. You heard me. <sighs> okay. Lambert, Lambert you are yet to see, see the hand, hand that fed you. You won. You won be be for your, your days. days. I mean, Lambert, be won. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, 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 we don't have any more time. Eh? Can't you just do this thing quickly and uh, let's forget about it? Eh? But, Chief, why are you so much in a hurry? Why? Hmm? Why won't I be in a hurry? Ah. But I have been waiting for your daughter to return from our youth service. It is because of her that I have not gotten married. What are you saying? And you know what people are now saying everywhere? That I am an empty man. Yes, since the death of my second wife. What have I done? I need to get children with your daughter. Yes, I should start having children with her. Okay, no problem. Uh, there is problem. You should understand my situation. You said I am, I am Ori. I am in Ori, yes. Uh, okay. I'll arrange for both of you to meet in my house to discuss this marriage. Better. Hey, but listen, I am not begging. If I should come to your house and your daughter misbehave the way she did in my office the other time, I will lose my temper. And you know what that means? You will get fired. It won't get to that, believe me. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. I just don't want your daughter to be the main reason why myself and you will have problem. Mm, I don't want us to have problem. That is just it. But you must understand. How can your parents force you to marry someone you don't want to marry? I don't have an idea. Like, I don't know why. I think they have a reason why they wanted to marry him. I wish I knew this reason why. I mean, none of my parents has ever bothered to sit me down and tell me the reason why they want me to marry this man. No. Instead, they force and threaten me all day. So what are you going to do in a situation like this? I'm, I'm confused. I, I, don't, I don't know. I've done everything, I mean I've done everything I could to make my parents allow me to marry Frank. But all that is void, like it, it didn't make any impact at all. So you want to marry him? I love Frank so much, so so much. And I love my parents too. If I go ahead to marry Frank, my parents will be so disappointed in me and they will never forgive me for that. If I decide to marry 
the old man. I can't imagine myself being with an a man I have no feelings for, an old one at that. And Frank will never ever forgive me too. I can't live with that. I'm, I'm at crossroads. I don't know. I feel your state of mind now. But you have to make a decision. You have to make a choice that will not clash with another. friend now that uh, is more than friend I should be that yes, okay where's the girl where, where is she who was she who was she who dad the girl you brought in while I was away who was she my my friend Stephanie I see so you now bring people into this house right as you like People with whom you plan to disobey your father. I can see she's the one advising you to start disobeying me. Dad, she's, she's my friend, Stephanie. She just came to say hi. I, I don't know what you mean by advising me. Why would you know what? Why would you know what? The daughter that I had was very different from the one I have now. The one that is here. It's not the one I have here now. You are a total departure from that girl. Now let me warn you. You are going to marry Chief Lambert by force. Yes, since all my mad overtures have failed, I'll begin to use force now. Be prepared. Get ready. Dad. Chief, your daughter has refused to come and join us. Why? What's her reason? Is it that she doesn't want to eat or what? She says she doesn't want to eat on the same table with us. She's eating in her room. <laughs> That's her business. I've made an advance with Chief to come discuss with her tomorrow. Chief, honestly, I'm not pleased the way we talk to this girl about this marriage of a thing. Yes, I know I'm in support of her to marry your friend. But at the same time, we have to take it easy with her before she begins to think that we hate her so much. Uh, but we've been taking it gently with her. What else can we do? Uh, the only way is to use force, that's all. Ah. And you think... Uh, look, look, let's save this food, please. It's getting cold. I just want us to take it easy on her, that's all. Yeah, too much. Let's go. Stop. 
Delivered on your promise. Thank you for yourself. <laughs> this is wonderful. Did I tell you that I love you? Julie, Julie, Julie. I don't. My darling, darling, Julie. Come, 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 come. Come close. So we start talking like husband and wife. That's who we soon become. Come, come. Just come talk. So you came all the way here to tell me this nonsense. I don't know what it is you and my parents are planning, but whatever it is, it will not work. Hey, hey, calm down. Calm down. Calm down for what? For what? Why will I calm down? Juliet. Juliet, how dare you speak to Chief in such a manner? How dare you? I, 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 I won't sit here while you insult me. Please calm down, Chief. Please calm down. Calm down, please. I'm sorry. Please. Calm what? Calm down. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Too late? Please, we're sorry. Please. We're sorry. Please. Chief! Chief! Why this time? It's almost 2 a.m. My parents want to kill me. Please don't go. Oh, 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 God. Make her go, go. I know, problem. Go back to your place. Why? What happened? They are forcing me to marry that old man by all means. So I decided to leave the house. I ran away. But are there a way that you are here? No, nobody knows I left the house. Ca can I go in? Okay. 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 Chief. Yes, darling. Have you seen Juliet this morning? Is she not in her room? She's not in her room. I've searched everywhere. She's nowhere to be found. Uh, I can't remember sending her anywhere. Where could she have gone to this early morning? Did my daughter tell you where she was going when she was leaving? Oga, you miss me, madam? Nobody don't left this gate today. My friend, shut up. We're telling you she's nowhere to be found. You're saying nobody don't left this house today. Ah, Oga, madam, you know say I did vigilant. And maybe the CSO of this entire compound come out to the DSS where I be. Your small madam never come out this gate since yesterday when she come back. Maybe her motor day here. See? 
It means this girl jumped out last night without anybody's knowledge. Just get out! Get out of my sight! Sorry, ma'am. Please, 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 please
Mom, there's no point wasting your airtime or calling me because I've made up my mind. I am not coming back to that house. No, 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 no. Hello? Hello? Um, listen, man. I'm not comfortable with the way things are going between you and Juliet. Personally, I'm not. I'm beginning to get worried. Come on, Bosco. You complain too much these days. Okay, what is it about us that you are not comfortable with? Um, listen, Frank. It's not all about complaining too much these days. You have to tell Juliet to go back to her parents' house. See. Guys, I called you people here to cool down my brain. I don't want to discuss this, please. Frank, Frank, listen. I can understand you are a very emotional person. And you're also very in love with this girl. But listen, Frank, what Bosco here is telling you is very important. Think about it. This girl has been in your house for days. Come on, don't you think her parents could be worried about her whereabouts? Are you by any chance trying to abduct this girl? Come on, think about it. Owen, Yes. I hope you are not by chance supporting Bosco. Not at all. But it's quite unfortunate if you think so. But listen Frank, it is a high risk that you keep somebody's daughter in your house. It's wrong. You could be charged for abduction and I promise you I won't be there. See, I don't care any longer. Okay, I understand that it's illegal and risky like you said. But those guys deserve that because of their approach on their daughter. Frank! Do you listen to yourself? You are talking about their daughter, not yours. Come on, you are a total stranger. Yeah. Yeah. You see, Frank, my problem with you is that you are too soft for my liking. Come on, stop being a mama's boy. Grow up, Frank. Jeez. I am listening, Frank. We understand what you're saying, okay? But you are our good friend. And we can't sit back and watch you get yourself into trouble. We're talking about your life. Come on, man. Think. Think, Frank. Now we're here, though we seem to have like a first time on the key. Cold city's finest, Muna slow, Google Daku, Zerbi, Nino, he got the hat. Anywhere we end, Mbura Kobanye, Mwa Kaka Shadi Ne, Arumu Mwa Nega. Shout out to my man, Fino Fino, he's your winner. Pick your Oh, oh please get cold, baby girl. Now we're here, though we seem to have like a first time on the key. Cold series finest. Muna slow who got dark. Zerfini no he. Babe, 
I don't want to go back to that house. I don't want to. I understand how you feel. But see, you have been out for long. And I'm sure your parents are worried. My parents don't care about me. They do. They, they don't do. have any parental feelings for me. All they care about is a selfish game. They don't care if I leave. They don't care if I don't. They just, they just don't care. No, no, please don't say that. They do care for you. They don't. They don't. I know you are afraid that if you return to that house, your parents will force you to marry that man. But if we are truly destined to be husband and wife, it must surely be. Suri, you wouldn't believe I actually reached out to all the people I thought she could be staying with. But all of our efforts proved about you. Ah. I suggest we should go make a report at the nearest police station. We're wasting time on this. Uh, it hasn't gotten to that point yet. Uh, again, uh, I think she must be very comfortable wherever she is. That's why she's able to answer all your calls, see what she's been doing. No, no, she's not. So what are we going to do? I want to see my daughter, I want to see her! <laughs> Uh, take me to the boy's house, if you know it. But one thing I know is that uh, if it is true that Juliet is living with that boy, if it is true, uh, look, I will teach him the kind of lesson he will never forget in his life. I swear. This is not the time to swear. Let's get someone that can take us to where he lives. It's not time for swearing. Very simple. Hey, do it. The only man I want to be with obviously doesn't feel safe for me. And my parents would do anything to make me marry Chief Lambert. What do I do now? Do I keep rebelling against my parents for a man I know not my fate in him? Or concord to my parents' wish so peace will ring? God, I'm so confused. What do I do? Sure. You don't know how grateful I am. And now that you're thinking along my perspective, thank you so much. <laughs> Do I have a choice? No, you have a choice. You know, it's more of understanding. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm worried. She's been indoors since she came in. You have time to start worrying about her. If she likes, let us stay in there for a whole year. That's our business. Take it easy now, please. Oh. Please sit. You. You had the. Purity, the effrontery to run away from my own house. Dad, I know you own me as a daughter, but I tried what I could to make you and mom allow me marry the man I love. But obviously that didn't work. So I'm back home now. Chief Lambert can come take me as a wife. Thank you. 
What a relief for me and your father. Thank you, my dear. Don't thank me, Mom. Don't. I don't deserve any of this. I thought as scary parents that you both would allow me marry the man I love. But no! You chose to sell me off to an old man. A man that has been married twice. A man that has lost both wives. Even the only child he had from that marriage has lost a wife. I would have you insult my very good friend right here in my presence. No. Chief, please, stop shouting at her, please. My dear, we are not selling you to him. We want you to... Oh, mom, please, please, save that explanation for yourself. I don't need it. Like I said, Chief Lambert can come take me as a wife. No, better still, you take me to him. That's what you both have always wanted, right? So, let's put this nonsense to an end. Hey, Frank. You just have to try and forget that girl. <laughs> and how possible do you think that could be? I have given my heart to that girl and there is no way I can forget her. Juliet is the only woman that I have loved in this my whole life. Come on, Frank. There is nothing you can do about it. She's already given to that man and that alone should tell you that it's over. I don't think that I can survive this. I don't... It's very difficult for me. Come on, ma. Cheer up, ma. Cheer up. Come on. Take your drink. The great mother of the seven rivers and ocean. Ah, the giver of life and wealth. I am once again before you. I have few more days to offer another sacrifice to you. But I want to do it now. I am ready to do it now. Your permission is hereby sought. Lambert, do, do as usual, usual and, present and present the sacrifice, the sacrifice before, before the goddess of the, of the seven, seven rivers, rivers and, and oceans. <laughs> Thank you, your lordship. You're not eating. What's the matter? I don't want to eat. I'm okay. Oh, no, you're not okay. You're my wife. I know when you're not okay. Talk to me, please, darling. Come on. If you must know, I feel like going to Chief's house to bring back our daughter. That's the way I feel right now. Oh, sweetie. Why are you sounding like this? You were with me when we were actually fighting for this marriage. Why are you suddenly, you know, behaving like this? Your daughter is okay, please. I never supported you wholeheartedly. It's just because of the nature of things. Okay. Okay. Yes. Let that same thing that made you support me be present here, okay? Okay. I have some of them to feed you. Come on.
My God. Hmm? Chief, please. Yeah. I am not interested in whatever I did not. Just let me be. Leave me alone. Uh, why is my wife so so still and not angry like this? Eh? Are you not happy being the wife of a very wealthy and successful businessman like me? No. I am not. Leave me alone. Please. I'm not interested. Just let me be. Okay. Yes. The great mother of the seven rivers and ocean, the giver of wealth and life, I am here. <laughs> I am here to sacrifice my lovely wife. I am prepared to sacrifice her, the great one. I am here to thank you with this offer for everything you have done so that I can get more wealth, more protections. Anyone that receives must be prepared to give. Accept my sacrifice. Accept my sacrifice. Receive this offer. Receive the great one. Lambert, Lambert. I, gave I gave you a warning, warning and I and made it. You can't, can't offer, offer to the goddess, goddess of life I want. want. Something, Something is not dear, dear, dear to you. Ha! <laughs> of course she's my wife! I just married her! <laughs> you don't, you don't love, love her. her. I she does not love you. I can't, I can't accept, accept this sacrifice. sacrifice. Because, because you don't want anything. Why are you sure I said to her? Because you don't feel any pain. <laughs> you have one, one way to kill you. Lamba, one, one way, way to fear the, the hand that fears you, you, or the hand you use you, you as a food. <laughs> <laughs> but why? He? Why? I have suffered so much to get this girl here. Why is she saying this? Why is she saying this? Why? Why is she saying this? I should do it practically for her to know that I, I am ready to, to sacrifice her. Yeah. You see, you remember, now you are going to enjoy yourself. I love my daughter. This is a girl that obeys me a lot. She respects yeah. me. Yeah. I told you she would marry you, but you never believed me. Oh, yes, I must confess. I am enjoying your daughter. She's so sweet. Huh? Your daughter, oh, my darling queen, <laughs> she's sweet. I know, I know. I've always known this, you know, because uh, suitors kept hovering around her, like flies over feces. Now, you see, uh, this is the reason why I continue to get involved in all of the things I do. Yeah. Yes, because um, you are a good man. Thank you. I mean, you made a promise and... Um, Despite all the challenges, you still delivered. Oh, you are indeed a good man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Of course, I knew she would enjoy herself. That was why I kept uh, pressurizing her to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But she almost missed it. You know, women now, you know, they, they will pretend and they delay, you know. <laughs> Tranga, tranga, tranga for nothing. <laughs> Cheers, oh, my friend. Mm. A wonderful marriage. Chief, you're not doing anything about this. Why? Sweetie, I already told you, your daughter is fine. What else do you want to hear from me? She's not fine. I've been calling her since yesterday. Her phones have been switched off. Perhaps she didn't charge her phones or something of that nature. That's not possible. You mean she didn't charge all her phones? That's unusual. 
in a place like Chief Lambert's house where power supply is uninterruptible? It's unusual. Sweetie, I don't even know why I'm wasting so much energy and saliva on this matter. I'm late to work, so I've got to leave now. Your daughter is fine. She is not. This is unusual. What? It's all like her. It's so unusual. Just now. Lucy! Lucy! Yes, ma'am. Get me a glass of water, please. Just water. Get me water! Uh, look, um, Jubilinos, you know the kind of person I am. I mean, you should trust me. Chief, I trust you. Eh, eh. You know, uh, just that my wife has been disturbing me. She claims she's been calling her daughter's mobile line, uh, but it's not been going through. Oh, that's correct. Our phone is off. Uh, because the boy operating my alternative power supply has not been around for some time. And um, you know what electricity is in this country now? I said it! Uh, I said it! I knew my daughter was fine. Mm. You know? Uh, but she kept nagging, you know, women. Uh, no, she's fine. Uh, don't worry yourself. Don't get disturbed. Honestly, she is fine. Thank you very much, Chief. Thank you. I'm glad to hear this. I don't get it. She's not picking. Come on, Frank. You have to forget about this girl. She's married to someone else. Look for another wife. See, this is not the issue of being married to another man. See, I have tried her line for good two days and it was not connecting. And now the phone is ringing, but she's not picking. So why are you disturbing yourself over another man's wife? You are not the father or the mother or the brother. You are just her ex fiance I mean ex. Hello? She picked. Hello? 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 Julie? Hello? I had a strange voice. I can't just explain the voice I had. <laughs> oh, come on. Frank, it seems like this Juliet of a thing is entering your head. Bosco, you needed to hear the strange voice I had over the phone. What do you mean you had a, a strange voice over another man's wife? Definitely, you should be the husband. You don't just get it. You need to hear the voice I had. See, I know she's married to another man, but I, I, I still care for her. Oh, oh, okay, Frank. What do you want to do about the strange voice? Mother, I've been calling Juliet since. Her lines are switched off. So I decided to come to the house to know if she had changed her line so I can get the new one. I'm worried. My dear, I don't know if she changed her line. I've been trying to reach her. Her phones are switched off. I'm worried sick. I don't know what else to do. That is bad hour. You get more juice with the bust in my head at the same more anymore. That is why I they pray for your love, oh baby. I have been trying to reach her as well. But her lines are not going through. And what is your husband doing about it? He keeps telling me that. She is okay, that nothing is wrong with her. But I'm not comfortable with that anymore. I'm not comfortable. Hmm. This is very, very serious. Honestly, Ma, we have to do something about this. It's time we visit that man's house. I think you're right. You have a point there. Oh, Chief is back. Thank you. 
Come here, stupid boy. Welcome, Chief. What are these two fools doing here? Didn't I warn you never to allow them in here again? Uh, Oga, you didn't talk like saying you know your CSO again. I've not killed them since pieces them. Now, Oga, madam, can't say make I open gate and let them they enter. Oh, I see. You now listen to your madam and disobey my orders, right? Very good. It is time you got fired. Ah, oh, Chief, come on. Take it easy with him. I ask him to allow them in. Stay out of this. I didn't ask you to say anything. What are you still waiting for? I allowed them in. Why? They suggested we go look for Juliet. They've been trying to call her, but her phones are not going. Her friend also came here. She told me she'd been trying to reach Juliet. Her numbers are not going. I am worried. I'm no longer comfortable. I'm not comfortable anymore. I think we should go search for Juliet. Okay. I'll go there myself. I'll get back to you. I'm coming with you. And they are coming as well. Why? Chief, please. <laughs> Please, mother, please, mother, please, ah, please, I need more days, I need more days, so that I can get the sacrifice that will be pleasing for you, please, please, don't kill me, please, please, please. There is no more time, Lama. There is no more time. I warned you, there is no more time. No time, no more time. You must pay with your life. Ah! 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 Ah, please, what, please, what's she, going on here? She, she's yelling. What's going on? Oh, please, let me beg her. Let me beg. Who? Let me beg. Ah, ah, the great mother of the seven rivers and the oceans. Eh? Ah, ah, she demanded for my first wife. I gave it to her. She demanded for my second wife. I gave her. She, she even took my only son. Ah, ah. Now I wanted to present a uh, uh, Juliet for sacrifice. <laughs> Yes, yes, I wanted to present you there for second time. And then she, she refused. She refused. Now she wants to take me, she wants to take me in, in her place. Help me, 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 help I think he's dead. Like, no, he can't die. Where, how will I find my angel? My daughter, my daughter. Peace, everyone. Juliet is in this house. <gasps> Juliet is tied up in a room inside this house. <gasps> this house is full of evil. This house is full of evil, but I thank God for one thing, that the Spirit of God has prevailed. Amen. Amen. Right now, we are going into this house. So by the authority of the Most High, Hallelujah. I bind every spirit of darkness prevalent in this house. Come with me. Amen. I bind every spirit of darkness in this room. Jesus! Stand by the authority of the most high Jesus. Find every four, four spirit here this morning. Ragazzi, get, 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 get,
name so Lord, in Jesus Christ. Bow to the name. Raga Saka Mama said again, I decree strength upon you, daughter of Zion, because Christ has died to set us free. And I decree you are this day free in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I decree you free in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Divine strength, let it come upon you this moment. Amen. Gain your consciousness Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Because he has paid the price for us. His death is not freedom. By the mighty name of Jesus. Raka se ke 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 Re ke ke poko so koko Raka se ke 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 Say sister She's okay She's okay She's okay She's okay Oh god Julie Stand up that's right Julie Stand up Oh my god Oh my god Oh my god I'm sorry I'm sorry Farai thank you I'm sorry I'm sorry Forgive me Forgive me. Give you that. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Pastor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We thank God. But how did you get to know about this? I called him. And I'm glad you came. Thank you. You know, the presence of God always surrounds those that worship him. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, Father, we worship you this day. Thank you. We we'll worship you this day. Thank you. We we'll worship you this day. Jesus, Omega Naya, I worship you today. Jesus, Omega Naya, I worship you today.